Welcome back to Baking Savvy. I'm Christy and today I will be showing you how to make my easy three ingredient homemade sugar lace tutorial. I will show you how to properly mix the ingredients together, color the mix, apply the mixture to the silicone mat, as well as how to easily remove it. And the best part is, it only requires three ingredients. Pre-made royal icing mix, Tylos powder, and water. We are first going to start by sifting our pre-made royal icing mix with some Tylos powder together. The sifting process is very important for it eliminates the possibility of having any clumpy pieces in the mixture as well as ensuring that the two ingredients have combined evenly. As you can see here, we have some clumpy pieces. This is easily solved by pressing the dry ingredients through the sieve with your fingers. Place the dry ingredients in a mixing bowl and slowly begin to add boiling water to it. Then increase the speed to medium and let it mix for three whole minutes. If necessary, stop the mixture and scrape the sides of the bowl to ensure even mixing. Your mixture should look like this. Now is the perfect time to add some color. I suggest using gel food colorings for water-based colors will only add too much liquid to the mixture and it will not have a good consistency for spreading. Once your mixture starts to stick to the sides of the bowl, you are ready to begin making your lace. This is what your mixture should look like. It should be tacky yet easy to spread around. Before you begin to use the mixture, make sure that your silicone mat is clean and dry. With an offset spatula, begin spreading the mixture all around your silicone mat. Be sure to cover every crevice of the design. Cover the mat with as much mixture as possible and lightly scrape off any excess. I will speed up this process so that you can get an idea. Once you are finished, carefully examine the mat and ensure that the design has been fully filled in. Check for patchy areas that have excess mixture and clean it up if necessary. When you are satisfied, let the lace dry. This can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours, depending on how humid or dry your work environment is. You know your lace is dry when you can touch it and it does not feel sticky. Lightly pull the sides of the mat to help release the lace and make it easier to remove. Then, Take a corner of the mat and begin to remove the lace. Be very careful with the step so that you don't accidentally tear the lace and you'll have to start all over again. Remove about an inch or two of the lace. Then flip the mat upside down. With one hand holding the lace, begin to pull the mat away. And there you have it, an easy recipe for edible sugar lace using only three ingredients. Want to see more videos like this and more? Then subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to hit that notification bell to be the first to know when I post new videos and updates. You can also follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to get the latest tips, tricks, and behind the scenes footage. As always guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.